So Sean is asking, in your opinion, what is the best way to spread the gospel to American young adults? I'm visiting Southern California in next February and want to spread the gospel to my high school friends. Sean, that is a great question. And I love that because <laughs> it's exactly what we're talking about. We definitely want to share the gospel. We definitely want to share um you know, Jesus with those around us. And I think, you know, we, we need to look at what, um, what Jesus did. And I, I would say Jesus method is, you know, he first, he wanted to just meet people and, and meet their needs. He healed, he went to people, he healed them, you know, he fed them. He, he saw what needs that they had first and foremost, and he met those needs and he showed the people he cared for them. And as he built a relationship with people, then, you know, he's, um, the people were able to trust him and believe the things that he said. And then he began to be, uh, point them to spiritual things. And so, you know, I would say, you know, meet your friends where they're at, just show them you care. Um, you know, I don't know what their, their needs could be. It could be a physical need or just a, an ear to listen to, or just, you know, just showing them that you really care about them in some way. And, um, and, you know, then as you know, prayer for opportunities to open that you can, you know, share spiritual things. And, um, and honestly, I think, one of the biggest things is just sharing your testimony. If the opportunity comes up, you'd be like, you know, in this one time, you know, God did this for me, like this happened and it was amazing. And I think that your testimony will mean more to them than, you know, just trying to shove a Bible story or Bible study down somebody's mm -hmm. throat. So um, I would definitely show them care first and foremost, show them love and um, then share your testimony. And um, again, if, and if they have questions, then be ready um, as, you know, the Bible says, be ready to give a man an answer, you know, um, so, you know, be ready, you know, by praying and, you know, having your you know, Bible on your phone ready, <laughs> if you can, to um, share, you know, what God is, um, wants to say um, through you in that instance. Now, I know we're just about out of time, but I think the next question we could answer pretty quick. And actually what you shared, it was interesting because it kind of is a good segue. Um, if we want to just do that really quick, is that cool with you guys? Sure. And I just wanted to add to what you said, Rashawn, as well. Great answer. Yeah, fantastic answer. But yeah, it's, I just wanted to reinforce the idea that, you know, it is, God is the vine, we are the branch. And Amen. it's, it, it, it's him coming through us in that relationship with somebody else that is the best way to share the gospel. And if preaching it should be done really through our actions more than our words, at least our actions should precede our words yeah. on it. It's how we show up to other people that, um, you know, especially with young adults that I, I, I was reached by, you know, when I was a young adult through a, a, a classmate of mine and it was how she showed up in my life that was, how I experienced Jesus and and got to know the love of God. And so that I think is the the key, the most essential component. So absolutely. I just to share that, so.